work that we're doing here is on the 500,000 volt lines. We're doing it energized. We're replacing the spacer damper. They've been up about 30 years and uh, they deteriorate over time and lose their ability to dampen the conduct vibration in the conductor. So they have to be replaced periodically. Haverfield works on the towers in phases. There are areas where the aircraft is not able to hover there and affect the repairs. So one of our latest innovations is if the helicopter can't affect the repair directly, we will deploy both men, line workers, as well as specialized equipment that allow the repair to be affected, ensuring that the energy continues. One of the most interesting tools of innovation for Haverfield is these dolly carts that are put on the conductor by helicopter. Um, dolly carts are nothing new. They've, they had those long before helicopters were doing this work. However, they did not have a cart that could be put on the conductor by helicopter. And we external cargo them and using the head system because the lineman is in the cart and we put the cart on a wire with the lineman in it. What the lineman has to do is bond on to that middle phase and in effect he energizes himself and the cart and everything in it at the same voltage potential that that middle phase is. So he becomes like a bird on a wire. It's self-powered, and the lineman can literally roll along that middle phase span and change out spacers one after another. The cart is used to run along the cables to perform the work real time, absent of the use of the helicopter. And when the work is completed on the conductors, the helicopter returns, picks up the cart, and removes it from the line and moves it to the next section. So this eliminates the need for conductor walking and takes it right into a very mobile, very efficient, very compact design. Even though a lot of people might consider it somewhat risky, um, there are a lot of ways of thinking about it. Once the cart's on the line, uh, the helicopter's off, out of the picture. Really, it's the only efficient way to do it. You can't really work it from bucket trucks because of the height and the terrain. The helicopter can get in and out much quicker and, uh, and you can work it energized for the helicopter so you don't have to take the line out of service. That's productivity. That's Haverfield.